Hello, Cancers. Welcome to your January reading. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to the Curio Shop. Hope you find out what you're looking for. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Yo, I play so much fucking webkins. Man. What a way to cope with life. Listen, Cancers, y'all are some nostalgic, sappy motherfuckers, so I know you appreciate that. Childhood weapons. Let's see what's going on for Cancers. Oh, I forgot to say, if you have Cancer as your Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus sign, this may be for you. My sister and my best friend are both cancers, which is very interesting to me because as an Aquarius, you would think air and water, what the hell, but it's, it's very interesting, interesting. <laughs> um, okay, so what is going on? What is going on with you cancers? Oh. God, I feel like, are you guys ever like, okay? <laughs> Damn, shoddy. All right, so. This is what you aspire to be. Queen of Wands. Just more secure in who you are and in your public image, and you want to be, you know, extroverted and, and powerful and, and, and be recognized for, for your, for your, <laughs> wow, I love when I don't have words. Um, yeah, but I feel as though you're trying to embody these very Leo qualities um, you know, boldness and, and secure, secure in, in yourself. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh my God, every time I talk, I'm like, why am I saying things? Okay, this Eight of Cups. You feel defeated. Why? Why? I feel like you had to walk away from something, something that made you happy. It wasn't an easy decision, but look at the moon, baby. You're ruled by the moon. That's your intuition guiding you. You had to walk away for a reason, even if you don't know what that reason is yet, or you know, you, you know what's right in your heart, even though it feels sad, you had to do it. And I think it's going to lead you to being a better version of yourself. Um, we have the Emperor in reverse, some Aries energy, some Cardinal energy, just like you guys. Um, so yeah, there could be um, a masculine figure in your life could be your literal father, um, or just someone with these traits that you're having a hard time with, or I, I know you're sensitive, and if, if someone is assertive towards you, um, or has strict boundaries, you could take that as an attack, um, and kind of shut down, um, but yeah, I, I think you, you need to learn to, <laughs> there's such tough love, but toughen up a little, you know, not everything is an attack, the world is not against you, the world's not out to get you, um, yeah. I think, I think right now you, you want more than anything to feel 
in your power and you're just not feeling so powerful right now or maybe quite literally an Aries did you wrong um, at the bottom of the deck I use the bottom card as the overall energy we have the page of cups so there could be a love offer coming to you quite quickly this person could be a literal water sign cancer Pisces Scorpio um, or it could just be someone romantic and sweet and sensitive and I think I think that's really good for you because you know you you do have this childlike soft dreamy attitude toward the world and I think you need someone sensitive to you um, you know you guys can balance each other out but that being said it's beautiful that you're sensitive and that's your nature but get a thicker skin because if you don't <laughs> the world is just going to make you feel like crying and you know it's just not everything is, is against you. So yeah, I, I hope this resonated. If it did, please leave a comment below. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Ah. Um, yeah, so love you guys. Thank you for watching and yeah, peace.